Uh, let me ask you a, a side question on uh, Google Hangout itself because I'm still a bit confused. So uh, when there are 10 people doing a, uh, in a Google Hangout, what is Google's involvement in handling the video traffic? Like are we in a, actually the five, uh, sorry, the 10 people, are we in a peer-to-peer -peer video relations? Uh, the video does, doesn't go no, to No, it's not peer-to-peer. -peer. Everything goes to Google servers. So, oh, mm. so there's only this... The way I know, the way I figured out how Google Hangout works is that mm. there's three video streams going on on your computer, at, like the client. He handles three streams. The normal quality, medium quality, and, and very high quality. Not very high, like high quality. The bigger, the big screen is a high quality. Uh -huh. The thumb strip on the bottom is the small quality, thumbnail uh -huh. quality. Mm -hmm. And when you transition from one person to another person, it goes from medium, high, high. You know, medium it transitions. High. Medium, high, high. Medium, so high, high. Medium, high. So do you mean when when we go between people, the 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 the, the, the big screen will go intermediate to, uh, into some less yeah. Less so motion? it decreases quality than high cost. So you see the smooth transitions between oh. videos. Mm -hmm. The way they do the smooth transition is that it, when you click on a person, it, it degrades the quality. Then it's like a, it's like a blending motion. Oh, okay. That's why it's very fast when switching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, and, right, right. And everything goes to Google servers. So. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much bandwidth they use in right. your network. Oh, but yeah. it uses a lot of bandwidth. You have to upload like you upload a lot and you download a lot. Mm -hmm. right. Basically, I, I realized you download within an hour. You you spend like maybe a gigabyte of bandwidth. Oh, a gigabyte of bandwidth. Mm -hmm. but in Canada, it's really bad for us because we have limits. Mm -hmm. I have Rogers Telecommunications, and there's limits on it. Mm -hmm. And I always, I go over my limits in a matter of one week. So mm -hmm. yeah, have they got to you yet? <laughs> yeah, they got to me. Uh, they they're throttling me, but mm -hmm. they increased the bandwidth. They, Rogers Network has increased their bandwidth by twenty five percent for all everyone. So mm -hmm. yeah. it helps. Yeah, I'm on the Shaw uh, Extreme. Uh, like I think I paid ten bucks more, so I haven't like got them bothering me yet. But I don't know uh, if they. Have I'm paying a hundred dollars a month, just for the uh, internet stuff. Rogers, yeah. Oh. Plus fifty dollars for going over. Oh, okay. Well, then you're paying more than fifty dollars a month. Uh, yeah, I think I'm paying like a uh, hundred bucks, uh, including my basic um, plus uh, tier one cable or something like that. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah, yeah. So, uh, but okay. I develop another extension too called mm -hmm. My Hangouts. Mm -hmm. I, that's 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 my one of my favorites right now because it's really hard. The thing I hate about Google, I hate. Sorry, it's the wrong word to say. The thing I I don't like about Google Plus mm -hmm. is is the way they manage your streams. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to figure out where everything is. Yeah, there are so many of them, and like you have so many. Like, them. I only have three hundred people, but mm. but it's, it's, it's it gets so fast that mm -hmm. it's really hard to know what happens. Mm -hmm. So what I did is that if your stream is open, I I read that stream in real time one uh -huh. by one, mm -hmm. and for every post which is a hangout, I put it in a browser bar, so oh, it tells okay. you one hangout is one hangout is is happening right now two hangouts is happening right now mm -hmm. so i keep i keep i keep um a a running tap. Yeah, yeah. of which hangouts are currently happening in my stream mm -hmm. and i see a little icon on my browser saying like that's what's happening when you click on it you see your your hangouts and your participants and all that kind of stuff it's oh, really really helpful mm -hmm. right so that's how i know when Cherry Backlift's coming on or something oh, like that. Oh, okay. Right. So, so I can when, join their hangout quickly. Right. So when he comes on, then you see that. And then when that hangout finished, uh, that icon will be gone, right? So it's the a real, it's the a number will update. become zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the good thing about this extension is because with that extension and uh, hangout auto retry again, these mm -hmm. two extensions will, will make your hangout experience much nicer, mm -hmm. like better. Mm -hmm. Because you can see your available hangouts that are happening mm -hmm. and you can join them and auto retry them. If they're full, mm -hmm. and I use that every single day, like I use those every single day, every every single day. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, uh, in terms of code, I don't know if it is the right measure because uh, thinking more about it, I mean, if you fix a bug and whatnot, uh, it could be really hard to find that one line of code that is really deep down and, and it takes long time. But in terms of uh, code measure for uh, uh, for the stuff that you write, how many lines of code are we talking about? Uh, um, for the various, uh, 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 you're saying you, you've put in 165 patches uh, and extensions. For Chrome? Yeah, yeah, into, into the Chromium project, like including... I can check right now for you. Oh, really? um, there's something okay. called... Oh, yeah, I can check right now. Mm -hmm. You're breaking there's something like, called, the line of codes, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's something called um, Olo, if you know it. 
-hmm. How do you spell yeah. it? Uh, o -L -O? O -H -L -O -H. O -H -L -O -H. yeah. So I'm logging in right now. Mm -hmm. And I click on my projects. Mm -hmm. And I can see. So in Chromium, I have total lines changed. Whoa. One second. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. No, so I have to right. go to code analysis. Um, all right. And then I, I want to uh, close on uh, the Chromium project uh, committer thing, uh, which uh, I, I, I look, I browse through the description. I think, wow, this is cool, but I want you to, to tell it. <laughs> hmm. It's really, I forgot how you, I forgot how you use this. I forgot how to use this, but it's all right. You you can message me uh, uh, later. I mean, I guess as a programming geek, uh, at least in the old days, uh, we say, oh, in our uh, air traffic control project, we have uh, a million line of uh, code or two millions. Ah, I forgot what's the actual count, but it's in the in the all. No, it, it, it said it said it here before, but mm. I don't I don't know why I then I can't mm -hmm. I can't find it anymore. Right, that's well, okay. You can find no it. No way, ninety one thousand lines. Ninety one thousand. Maybe that's it. <laughs> 91,000. Maybe that's it. I, I changed 98,000 lines. 98,000 lines of code. Wow. That's, yeah. And that's all open source. And that's yeah, that is mine. 98,000 plus. That's only one of them. There's mm. two There's two parts of it. Mm. Yeah, 98,000. Oh, wow, that's, that's cool. That's a lot. Oh, even, no, even, um, and actually that's, that's how much lines I've changed, mm. but, but there's another one I changed 500,000 lines. Mm. Five hundred so over, over, overall, overall, I think six hundred. But I think that's more refactoring. Maybe that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I guess like. Um, yeah. Actually, <clears throat> I changed five hundred, three hundred thousand lines, five hundred thousand lines of, of Python, HTML, and JavaScript for Chrome because mm -hmm. they have, they have these other other stuff. Mm -hmm. So five hundred thousand lines, but for C plus plus, I changed a hundred thousand lines. Right, uh, they're, they're the actual code that you type in, or are they including? Do they include auto generated code? I mean, like I haven't been doing software engineering for um, ten years. Maybe so I don't know. Um, it says yeah. here. I, I'll I'll send you the links, but yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, let's not geek out the, the viewers because they're, they're seeing you uh, clicking this is probably not going to be interesting. <laughs> but So let me ask you uh, uh, to describe to me. Uh, in your profile, you talk about you being a Chromium project committer. So uh, t uh, talk to me uh, when the day that uh, you, you become a committer. I don't know what the process like. So maybe talk a little bit about that process of being a Chromium project committer. Um, and when you become a quote-unquote committer, how did you feel that day? <laughs> Um, that was kind of awkward, but um, I developed I mean around the thirty patches mm -hmm. at that time, <clears throat> and when I, when I developed thirty patches, um, people in Chromium, mm -hmm. in Google Chrome, in other words, they're the only Googlers. They yeah. have they have they have to um, vouch for me. There have to be like I think five votes. Mm -hmm. So if if five or three people, three people must say uh, I agree. Yeah, if yeah. they agree. And they say Mo needs. Let's give Mo committer because he's really he has high quality of code. Mm -hmm. He's really dependable and um, mm -hmm. he does he does really good contributions. Mm -hmm. And people agreed. A lot of people agreed. Mm -hmm. And eventually they gave me committer. I was so happy because um, I never had a committer. I never was part of a project before in my whole life. And mm -hmm. since that day, I actually started committing. I think thirty patches a month. So, one, so, so that's a way to suck you in even more. <laughs> suck me even more, yeah. And I, I was really active that year, and I was mm. and and I eventually thought that my my current my current um, job is not that good. So I I because it was it wasn't challenging at all. So mm. I, I joined Rim because mm -hmm. it's more challenging, and mm. I know I can't I can't I can't code on Chromium anymore because I, I work at Rim right now because mm. it's. You know how it is in companies. Right, right. I understand. Yeah, there's a bit of a competition there. <laughs> yeah, there's a competition there. So I stopped. Mm. I stopped contributing to Chrome, the mm. browser, mm -hmm. since like uh, nine, ten months ago. Mm -hmm. When but you joined, I, I, when you joined, I stayed contributing because I used to. I not only contributed to Chrome. I did Chrome work. I did. I was the top contributor to Google Chrome forums. Mm -hmm. I was a top contributor. I was number one contributor to Google Stack Overflow. 
I was uh, I was on the mailing list. I was like the top three on a mailing list for dev discuss and HTML5 mailing list. I was really up there. Mm-hmm. I was really top in IRC. So I was helping people in the same time of contributing code. Mm-hmm. So I still I I'll limited myself right now because I want to do my own open source projects a bit. So mm-hmm. I still help in Stack Overflow for Chrome. I still help on I still develop extensions for Chrome right now. Mm-hmm. Because they're my extensions now. I'm not. I'm not doing stuff for Google. I'm doing stuff for me right now. Mm-hmm. So there's, right. There's, there's no competition right now, right, right there. So, so the extension is because it's on top and it's uh, used on the user side. It's not like it's not a part of Chrome and, and it's less of a, I guess I hate to put it that way, but a conflict of interest where like who you work for and and, and Chrome and yeah. And I'm, mm-hmm. right now I work like maybe ten to twelve hours a day on Rim because I like it. Mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. it's a really good company, and I really right, like it. Right, and it's a Canadian company. I'm helping Canadian company to be better, and I'm yeah, trying to put my effort nice. there. Mm-hmm. But I really like web development, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to do extensions because I love Chrome. We use Chrome internally, mm-hmm. so we love. Oh, you mean I'll, internally in uh, Rim, you guys use yeah, because we oh, we yeah. have we use WebKit as our browser uh-huh. for the playbook, mm-hmm. and the closest thing to WebKit is is Safari in Chrome. Oh, okay, right. So, but, so but, we can, yeah. By the way, I mean, uh, if uh, uh, let me know if I'm asking questions that I shouldn't be. But uh, the playbook itself is it's also it can also run uh, Android. Is that right? Uh, am I mistaken? That by the way, I, I I don't I don't work on product. I uh, work on internal tools development. So right, right. Everything everything I say is my opinion. Right, something... personal opinion. Okay. <laughs> Which I'm not even allowed to say, but we'll see what happens. Yes, <laughs> playbook is run. It will will run Android. We run Android software, right? Yeah, because right. okay. Android is just a JVM at the end, and you just put it in, and you make it work. Oh. A lot of challenges to make it work, but mm. it's JVM is ja- the, the Java Virtual Machine, right? So the Java Virtual yeah, Machine Delvic. just run on uh, on top of the, the chip or the, the software layer. The Playbook is a really powerful device. It runs mm. many languages. Mm. It's like a mini computer. Mm-hmm. Which looks nice and sexy, <laughs> right? <laughs> yep, that's a that's a good plug for playbook. <laughs> All right. Well, so I have taken uh, you more than uh, half an hour. I really really appreciate uh, talking to you today, uh, Mohammed. And uh, um, so th- uh, thanks a lot. No, thank thank you very much. Uh,